over 40 style rules I like to break. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello, I'm Jess. Thank you so much for finding me. I love the world of fashion with a passion, but the over 40 style rules seem to go against everything that I and what I thought the fashion industry believed in. Fashion is about experimentation and being free to express your personality however you see fit. It's a world where individuality is celebrated, not mocked. So I thought it'd be fun to debunk each of the supposed over 40 style rules and share why I think they need breaking. If you're not already subscribed, I'd be really grateful if you'd like to do so. And at the end of this video, follow the link in the description box below to find my daily style pictures over on Instagram. A portion of this video has very kindly been sponsored by ShopTagger, a handy app and Chrome extension that helps you save money as you shop. But I shall tell you all about that a little bit later in this video. But first, don't try to look trendy. I'm going to try and look at these points objectively, but when I hear that, the first thing that springs to mind is that you shouldn't try too hard to look anything. It should just be natural. And that in itself comes over time as your confidence grows. But if you follow the trends like I do, and you like to incorporate them into your outfit ideas, why on earth would you not want to do that once you reach 40? Was it okay at 39, but wake up on your 40th birthday and, you know, it's like, hang on, put that trend back on the rail? I wouldn't ever try to look trendy, but I am interested in the trends, and I think the two are very different. However, if you're wearing something simply because it's a trend and it looks blooming awful, then fine, I agree. But choosing pieces that suit you and happen to be on trend, then style away. No crop tops, that's fine. Definitely wouldn't wear one anyway. Don't wear anything above the knee. In the 1920s possibly, but I think a lot's changed in free expression over the last hundred years or so. So I think you're all right choosing which length of dress or skirt you want to go for. In fairness to this quote, I personally prefer wearing midi dresses. However, if I thought I had an amazing pair of legs, whatever age my birthday card reads, why on earth would you not show them off? There's a big difference in choosing something a little bit tarty that will have the knock-on effect of making your outfit look cheap, and choosing a lightweight summer mini dress that shows off your lovely legs. And this is where ShopTagger can really help. It's the app or Chrome extension that's like having your very own fashion assistant. Take this beautiful white mini dress I just found, for example. With one click, I can save that into my ShopTagger account under my file mini dresses. I've told ShopTagger what size I'm looking for and to notify me either by email or the app when there's a price drop. As you can see, I've already saved a couple of different dresses that I love and I've set various notifications on these ones as well. So either when they come back in stock in my size or if they go on sale. I thought this dress was absolutely gorgeous and while I was browsing, it told me that they offer a 2% cashback if I decide to buy it. And this lovely one is out of stock in my size, so I've selected to be notified once it comes back in. I find it really helpful to have my wish list as a virtual mood board like this. I can keep an eye on the prices all in one place, and it does seem to encourage me to not make those snap decisions, which is always a bonus. ShopTagger also scans the web for coupon codes or discount codes that might have launched. And this is where I spotted the lovely new midi dress at Bowdoin actually. So I added that to basket when I saw the notification at the side of my screen. This is a special feature when you're on your computer with Chrome. So I always tend to double check that. And don't forget, you can also earn cash back every time you shop. My Teresa, for example, are currently offering 5% cash back. So at the end of this video, don't forget to follow the link in the description box below and download ShopTagger either for your computer or as an app on your phone. It's definitely saving me money while organizing me at the same time. So like I mentioned, showing off a great pair of legs should never be frowned upon. I found this and this and this one, which I've linked in the description box below as well. Avoid sleeveless clothing. I saw a really interesting quote the other day from Kate Moss. She said, everyone worries about bingo wings, but it's knees that will give you away. And as someone who really dislikes my own knees, I think she's got a point. But in all seriousness, there is this over 40 style rule about never showing your upper arms, which I find really, really odd. A bit like your legs, if you're happy with your arms, why on earth would you not show them off? It's certainly a lot more practical, say, in the height of summer, that's for sure. I tested this out somewhat and literally Googled over 40 outfits 
and virtually every single style shown to me either had cap sleeves or long sleeves. It's like you hit the 40 mark and suddenly you've got to hide half your body away. Now while I'm not fond of bingo wings, I am hopeful that my newfound love of yoga will go a long way to helping. From a styling point of view, if you're really not keen on your upper arms, why not choose something sleeveless and think about adding a lovely pashmina or a cardigan over the top? I certainly wouldn't be cutting out a whole section of clothes to choose from when there's always a way to style it out. No sheer fabrics. Well, that's one over 40 style rule I'm definitely going to have to break, especially this season, as it's one of the big trends that I really love. And while I won't be going out in a bralette and sheer slip over the top anytime soon, I will be interpreting the trend in my own way. I found this top recently at Cezanne. Now it's been made from a beautiful fine silk, so naturally it's going to be quite sheer. Depending on my mood and of course the occasion, I might wear this just with a pretty bra underneath or layer it with a camisole top. Cleavage is a big no-no. Now I'm in two minds about this over 40 style rule. Partly because, aside from pregnancy, I don't think I've ever had a cleavage to show off in the first place. And two, I don't think I felt particularly comfortable when I did have one. But if I think back to my late teens, early 20s, what I thought was sexy then has definitely evolved over time. Being well-dressed is like a lifelong learning curve. There's definitely a few things I wore in my 20s that I wouldn't touch with a barge pole now. But nowadays, I think a beautiful open back on a dress, for example, is far sexier than a whole lot of cleavage could ever be. It's about a hint of skin. The unsaid is the sexy part. If it's all on show, there's not much left to imagine. That being said, there is always a flip side. You might love your cleavage and you like to show it off and it makes you feel at your best. So if that's the case, then great, go ahead. No style rule or anti-style rule should take that away from you. Cover your gray. I think I'll just put this picture here and this one here and this one here. Now I wouldn't want to put any hairdressers out of business in the midst of a pandemic, but I am firmly in the camp of just going with the flow when it comes to gray hair. Far from looking old, if that's what you're worried about, done right, I think it can look incredibly chic. I've been blonde for years, but I'm naturally brunette. I've had my hair red, I've had it green. Admittedly, that one was a mistake. A bit like fashion, it's fun to experiment with your hair. And there absolutely shouldn't be any panic setting in once you notice a few gray stragglers coming through. I'd embrace it and turn that look into your statement piece. No black leather. I'm not doing very well with these over 40 star rules because I'm gonna have to break that one as well. I love, 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 love my vintage leather jacket. It was my mum's from her biker days. She would literally wear it while riding on her bike with me in the sidecar, bouncing along going to ballet. Of course, slightly different on the school run, but I loved how individual she was. And from a style point of view, I think a leather jacket is totally invaluable for your capsule wardrobe. It's one of those pieces that if in doubt, I'll stick it on top of my outfit and it instantly makes it feel more fresh and up to date. It's the same with leather trousers really, which have been having a moment recently. Not for everyone I know, but I've personally developed a newfound love for them that's certainly not going to stop because I'm over 40. No bikinis. Now I know this will be debatable, but I personally disagree with this one. I honestly believe that women look far more flattering in bikinis than they do in one pieces. I wear both, but I must admit, I feel far nicer in my bikinis than my one pieces, and I don't have a six pack or anything like that. There's something about one pieces that feels like it can actually accentuate my tummy. Whereas I much prefer both on myself and other women to see the natural curves of a woman's shape. Stretch marks should be seen as a badge of honor. You created a human or two in that body. And style wise, I really think having two separate elements to your swimwear enables those individual parts to be far more flattering. The bra section is left to do the job it's designed to do rather than pulling you in weird and wonderful directions. And the same thing for the bottoms. It sounds cliched, but honestly, don't worry about the lumps and bumps, just embrace what you've got. So much fashion is wrapped up in the confidence of the wearer. Wear it with your head held high and believe in yourself and then others will absolutely believe in you too. No long hair. I have a few friends who reached 40 and felt the need to cut their hair much, much shorter. And while I like short hair, I definitely wouldn't think of it just because of my age. I like having long hair. The ability to change my mind like the weather with the style suits me just fine. And I can't imagine getting bored of that anytime soon. Again, taking a look at Sarah Harris, who not only rocks a great head of gray hair, 
but the length is stunning too. She looks beautiful, elegant and on trend and if it's okay for the deputy editor of Vogue, I think it's okay for us too. Obviously a lot of what I've been talking about today should be taken quite tongue in cheek, but I really do believe that everyone looks absolutely their best when they wear what they truly love and is wholeheartedly their own personal style. There are tweaks and tips which can help along the way, which is often what I talk about in my videos. But ultimately, you know deep down when something is truly you. Don't get swayed by silly over 40 style rules that were probably dreamed up a hundred years ago. Be you through and through and that confidence will absolutely radiate off you. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, I would be grateful for any spare thumbs up you might have. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be lovely too. And don't forget to follow the link in the description box below to Shop Tagger's website, where you can save yourself some pennies on your next shopping trip. I'll see you next week with lots more fashion tips and outfit ideas. Have a great couple of days.